One of the stupidest hooks for a video is what from these kids on TikTok where it's like, this should be illegal to know, but this video, it kind of feels like it should be illegal to know this particular hack. I'm going to take you through this process that I've not seen anybody teach yet, but it's going to be the fastest way to create dozens and dozens of high quality social media posts in no time at all. And you're going to need a couple of tools. So buckle up. Here we go. The first one here is typeshare.co and there'll be an affiliate link down in the description. If this video is valuable, I'd love for you to use that link. But what I love about this particular software is the templates tab. So I'm actually just going to show you the templates first and then you can probably piece together how I'm about to use it in just a second. And your mind will be absolutely blown as I create 73 different social media posts in front of you as we're going in this video. So if you don't know what typeshare is, basically they'd go and try and find viral posts on Twitter and so forth and then look at them from a non-topic point of view. So what do I mean by that? They try and make the way that it's written relevant for anybody in any topic and then provide them with a template to use to inspire their own writing. So let's have a look at one here that we can look at. So 1,000 hours. So I spent over 1,000 hours learning to, and then in brackets, they've got the skill. So no matter what you are, whether you are a copywriter, whether you are a language teacher, whether you are a dancer, whether you are an artist, you can write, I spent over 1,000 hours learning art effectively because college completely failed to teach me. Here's everything I learned distilled into 11 tweets that you can start applying today. So that's one example of a template, probably not any, a template I'm, that I would use in the next step, which I'm going to show you in a second. Let me find one that I would use. All right, so this is a better example. How I used to topic. So let's, how I used to dance, for example. And it'll be like bad approach, bad approach, bad approach. How I do dancing now, good approach, good approach, good approach. So basically what I did is I went through this entire website. I found all of the different templates that would make sense for me and my brands. And then I wrote them all down into a document. The next thing you want to do is provide the AI with some content. And I write about this all the time in my newsletter. For example, in the benefits of the OpenAI API, I came up with this framework called Prime Prompt and Proof. So before you do anything in these AI models, you want to prime it first with high quality information about you, your business, your content, your frameworks, and then it's going to produce high quality outputs on the other side. Whereas if you just prompt it with no real information, that's when it produces pretty low quality stuff. And that's when people complain about AI. And that's when Google gives you a slap on the wrist for using AI content and so forth. But if you do it properly and if you understand copywriting, then you can make really high quality stuff. So we want to prime it then with all of these templates that we've now found in TypeShare. Plus, we also want to add in good long form pieces of content. So what would be examples of good long form pieces of content? YouTube videos, podcast episodes, newsletters, blog posts that are written by you, not entirely by AI. These are the types of things, even books. These are the types of things that we can then turn into these really high quality pieces of content. So for example, I have this transcript here from a summit that we did for my pet care brand. It's called Music for Anxiety. It's by this woman here, Lisa Spector. And this is the pasted transcript. So we took the t entire transcript. It goes for maybe 45 minutes to an hour, 30 minutes. So I was a little close. And then we now reference that particular social post to create all of these templates that we've saved from TypeShare. Now, you might be looking at this particular system. It's like, Mitch, what is this? I've never seen anything like this before. This is my own system. If you want to dive deeper into this, go back into my old videos. It's a pretty incredible system. I've never seen anyone else build anything like this. Basically, I got sick of having so many little SaaS tools everywhere that kind of did solve small problems. And I built them all into my own one particular workflow. I was sick of paying so many different subscription fees. And not only does this make us way more efficient, but it's built exactly how I like it. And it costs us way less than having dozens of different of dozens of different subscriptions. So go back and watch those other videos. But for now, if you don't have a dashboard like this, you could simply get your transcript and paste it into chat GPT here and say, and just give it a prompt saying, save this transcript and I'll prompt you and I'll give you the prompt next. So something like that, paste the transcript in and save that transcript. And then you could come back into TypeShare and grab this particular 
template and say, hey, use the transcript you just saved to complete this template. Pretty cool. So does it actually work? Let's find out. I've actually saved, I believe, 70 different templates into here. And I'm going to press play and you can watch all of these line up and we're going to see how good they actually do come. Okay, so we have all of these lined up there ready to go now. All we need to do is hit create social posts, come back, and hopefully it's going to start dropping each of these social posts into here. Here we go. So the first one, you need three things to create a calm, calming sound environment for your dog. First is awareness of the sounds in your home. The second is canine sound therapy music. And the third is a routine that includes calming activities with your dog. If you have those, then a peaceful and anxiety-free atmosphere for your furry family member is fully attainable. Pretty solid. All I would come in and do for that one is change furry fa family member to dog because I hate it when it says furry family member. And it's actually, it actually normally says furry friends, but I have that in my do not say words that is also tied into the prompt. But as you can see here, it's in autopilot now doing all of these particular posts. So let's have another look at one of them down further. And what you can notice is that some of them are more content-based types of posts using the templates that I showed you. And we've created other templates as well, which is things like tomorrow's podcast episode will be desired outcome, which is will be a real treat for anyone who wants to create a calming oasis for their dogs through music. If you're not on the list yet, let me know. So things like that. But let's go down to some of these other ones down further. Top three reasons I love about creating music for pets. So sometimes doesn't change the template enough to make it make sense. So you do need to come in and do a little bit of human editing, a bit of proofing, like I said, in the three-step framework. But let's say it's a top three reason I love creating music for pets. It's incredibly rewarding to see how a simple melody can bring peace and comfort to our pets, helping them feel safe and calm in their environment. Music has the power to bridge the communication gap between us and our pets, deepening our connection with them in ways words cannot. Being able to combine a music for passion for music, but the love for animals is a dream come true. It's a unique way to make a positive impact on lives of both pets and owners. You can't get stuff like this by saying, hey, ChatGBT, write me a social media post about music for pets. It's, it goes on with so much fluff and ridiculousness, and it doesn't give you, give you text that you would actually write and that you would actually say. And look, it, this is just all working on autopilot now. We're already up to 30 might have glitched out <laughs> who knows since i'm recording there's a higher chance that it's glitched out for some unknown reason oh if i have a look at the automation it's still operating maybe this number 30 is actually just a long particular text it was so let's have a look at this longer one so lessons on the impact of sound on sound on pets i would say sound for pets i learned today Today, I had the pleasure of diving into the fascinating world of how sound affects our pets, specifically dogs. I listened to blah, blah, blah. Here are five lessons I learned. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if I need to continue going through these, but all it is doing is taking those templates, which I showed you. So these things, 90% of outcome is really just simple habit one, two, and three. Did this thing today, short context. Here are X lessons I learned in X time. Lesson one, two, three. So it's taking all of these particular templates and turning them into high quality social media posts but it doesn't end there this is just the text you could then take that text and turn it into graphics for your instagram you could turn it into content over the top of videos and put it on all of the different reels and shorts content platforms so you could really take this set these 70 odd posts that we're about to create here in a few minutes should almost be done now there you go 73 already done and you can turn them into images and videos as well. So it's very easy to get 200 pieces of content from one long form piece of content within a few minutes. And if you're smart about it, you can set up templates within Canva itself and just and download a CSV file from this particular platform or whatever platform you're using and bulk upload them into Canva and they will all get done automatically as well. The Potential here is absolutely mind-blowing. I'm not seeing anybody else on the entire internet talk about this. So if you have loved this video, please use TypeShare. Please subscribe to them if you're going to use their templates like this. And if you have loved this video, use the affiliate link in the description. I'm not sponsored by TypeShare in any way, shape, or form. I just think it's, I just found a little hack and it's working pretty well for me and I'd love for it to work as well for you as well. 
if you do love more of this stuff and you want to dive into this platform, my own workflow that I've been building out, go back and watch all of the old videos that I've been creating. And I'm showing you behind the curtains of this entire system that I built totally for free. So people are blown away by what I've been building here. And this is really the future of the internet. All of these micro SaaS tools are going to disappear in maybe two to four years time. And more workflows like this is what, where every single business is going to be because the efficiency is unbelievable. So I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. And I'll see you in the next video.